<laughs> hey guys, Kublan Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are here on the gaming channel with a, uh, a new trailer for Indiana Jones. Uh, came out just last week. Um, I think also uh, Xbox had like their de dev... Dev debut. Dev debut, is that what it's called? Dev, they had some kind of dev... Dev direct, that's what it yeah, was. It was a DD thing. Where they were talking about dev new direct. things and what was coming out this and whatnot. This is an but Xbox exclusive. I want to yeah. say this is by <laughs> Bethesda, maybe? Okay, that's what Bethesda. I want to say. Really? I forget. It's one of the B ones, I think. Okay. Um, but that's the only one that comes to mind. Gotcha. So. But Treyarch. That doesn't even start with a B. Before we get into any more information, and I say more stuff that's probably wrong, let's just watch a trailer and it'll tell us. Let's do it! Yeah! I don't have a whip! Let me tell you what you are missing, Dr. Jones. Nazis? While you are playing your pointless game. Oh, hey. Is that I supposed to be... Was playing you? You're wondering if... Yeah. Maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning. Instead of ending up here. Yeah. Sweat it's up his forehead. Is he buried up to his head? In the sense yeah. of Africa. Africa. Guy can move one limb and he gets you with it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucasfilm Games. Todd Howard. Why did that name, Eric? This. Bethesda. Yep. History. Cool. It is neat. It just There's works. different ways to interpret the past. Ah! Is that Tony Todd? Years of humanity's thoughts. But, uh, what? That was Tony Todd. Scattered and buried. So it's all first person? Just waiting. Well, not all, but yeah. To be found. I think that was a cutscene now. You can't just run away <gasps> from your problems, Indiana. Yes. Watch me. Gives me LA Noir vibes. But in a good way. That's oh, first yeah. person. Stuff, That's grab. first person. That's first Dude. person. Dude! <laughs> That's really cool. History. Mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the world, you get a perfectly aligned circle. Wait, it's third and first. Maybe you pick? Maybe. Maybe that's a goal. Ah, punch! Yes! <laughs> I love the boom, boom, boom. Here's the four punches. Yeah. It ain't a walk in the park. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? Well, they got the facial animation down. Oh! Oh. One of the big guys. Oh, cool! Son, I'm sorry. They called us. <laughs> Oh, you guys are on planes? Patron of the fallen angels. Protector of the... Chukui Magni. The Great Circle. If we know his face. Do you have any idea how old that was? <laughs> Voice is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Right? It, like, it didn't sound like. Uh, it sounds like someone. Who's, who's, who's the one's voice? I mean, it sounds kind of like Harrison Ford. I mean, it's probably. But it's not like. Red Skull guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, incredible um, impressions. De 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 Some of the D is his last name. We had the CGI'd, like, facial switches in the newest one. Yeah. And it was Harrison Ford, but it was like. Mm. It seems weird because yeah. it's like an older Harrison Ford older doing, voice. doing the younger one. Yeah. And you can kind of tell, but it's still cool that they did it. Yeah. And this one here, it sounds a lot like. I feel like it sounds a lot like Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. It's a professional, I'll tell you that. Doing a really good job. Troy Baker. Oh, it's Troy Baker. That's doing Troy it? Baker Damn, doing he's it. Doing pretty of good. Of course, he's Nathan Drake is now going to just straight up be Indiana Jones. No, yeah. no that's Nolan. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's Nolan North. That's Nolan North. North. Yeah. Well, who's Troy playing? Uh, he's he's in a uh, uh, Last of Us. Yeah. Uh, he's Joel. No, I know that. Also... But he was in Uncharted too, wasn't he? Two? Wasn't he like his brother or something? Um, if that's the case, it's in four. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks interesting, and if it's, it felt like it was mainly in first person. So I don't know if the third person elements are like more of a cinematic yeah, time, 
Or if you could or like pick you, and choose. Maybe you like or... do puzzles. I mean, you want to see Indiana Jones, but I also get the idea of being first person too. So maybe you like interact with puzzles and then it'll go out to third. Maybe. I don't know. Or there's certain elements when it comes into third. Like mm. like maybe you choose to do the zip line, but when yeah. you do the zip line, it doesn't take first person. Though there maybe. was a shot that looked like... Uh, like he was fighting first person, but it looked like he did something in third person mm-hmm. at one point. So I don't know. I'm not sure, <clears throat> but it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, he's swinging on the whip. It was third person, but then when he swung off the whip, it like zoomed into his body. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty four. So it's this year sometime. Yeah. But yeah, this is a Bethesda Xbox type thing. So when you said about Howard, like yeah, he's mm-hmm. the guy I think that usually comes out during like the E three or the directs yeah. and stuff. That he you does the see, presentations so. and stuff. Okay, cool. But was the guy in the very beginning supposed to be uh, Mickelson? No. I don't think so. Because it just, the way he had the glasses and the broken no- nose, sure. it just made me think of in the very beginning yeah. of uh, of the Dial most recent Destiny. movie. Yeah, Dial of Destiny. He had the broken nose mm-hmm. and the same kind of glasses and so stuff. So you think, but, like, that could be him. They just got his face wrong? I, well, I was like, maybe the angle's weird, and I just <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Well, maybe, I haven't seen Indiana's face. Maybe, like, yeah, I don't they, understand maybe they couldn't pay to get his likeness. I was going to say, they probably didn't cast Mods Mickelson for this, so maybe they just did a face sculpt of whoever's actually doing the voice. Yeah, I would say it's not there's the, a, the character. There's a time whenever they got the likeness of Pierce Brosnan for a James Bond game, mm-hmm. but not the voice. You know, it's like the voice was very different. And yeah. It was weird. That seems Or there's scary. other times they've done James Bond and they just didn't have anyone. It was mm-hmm. just a whole new James Bond character, too. So, like, maybe it's one of those things. But I just, it was just the glasses and the broken nose. But any Nazi could have those glasses and broken nose. Yeah, give me a Nazi. I can get you glasses and broken nose yeah. from that Nazi. Yeah, no problem, right? Real, real easy. The broken nose part's especially easy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right, I do. And I'm sure at that time that, that was a very common pair of glasses to And wear. it used to be yeah. real hard to find Nazis, but... <laughs> the game looks fun. Yeah. I'll play it. I mean, it's going to have a killer soundtrack. You know that. I wonder where it's set, because we saw that he also had a... Mm-hmm. I believe the name is Marcus Brody. Yeah. Um, we saw him. I get treasure rooms. Cool. Yeah. I want to, like, go and collect stuff and come back, and my treasure room's filling up. Yeah. I know it's not treasure to indie. It's the artifacts yeah. and stuff. It's history. Game. You know what I mean. <clears throat> but, yeah, isn't that Tony Todd? Does that um, not look exactly like Tony Todd? It, it does. Just younger? Look like a man I've seen in movies and TV, but I don't know his name. Candyman, <laughs> Final Destination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's him, right? Um, um, the Rock. He was in The Rock. He was in The Rock. He voiced Zoom. And he voiced uh, Venom in the new Spider Man movie. Uh, Venom, game, Venom, Venom. Movie. Yeah. Game. Yeah. In the game. But yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like him. Mm hmm. I love him. I love his voice. That looks more like him than the other guy. It looks like Matt Mickelson. <laughs> yeah. No, 100%. But yeah. So that'd course, be interesting. I wonder what, who he is or what. Uh, seems like a Maybe some character. type of like a cult character, maybe? I don't know. I see a Dustin. Templar. Like that. Could be a Templar. <laughs> they, they had a, in the third movie with uh, Sean Connery, they had like this group of people who were trying to protect the Holy Grail and stuff mm-hmm. that were like... I don't want to say Templars per se, but it was something like that. Yeah. No, I like this first person exploring kind of mm-hmm. aspect, like him going through the rats and everything with the little uh, like lighter. Yeah. <clears throat> I think all that looks really cool. But yeah, with like Marcus here looks a little older. Yeah. So I'd say this probably takes place after three, but I just don't know now where the timeline would be. I've always felt, man, I love Uncharted, but I've always felt like Uncharted was Indiana Jones with steroids a little bit. Like, how do you differentiate an Indiana Jones game? From what Uncharted whipped. Got. Well, <laughs> just whip because I mean, we had the, the, the charm. Like the, that was later. later. That was in like three. The yeah. charm of the 30s, right? Yeah. 40s. He could be a teen. <laughs> like, this could be in the 50s, honestly, maybe here. Yeah. Marcus Brody looks a little older than I feel like he did in uh, uh, Indy 3. Yeah. You could have remnants of Nazis left around. Dude, it would have been so funny to just stuff. get Harrison Ford to do the voice. But he's, he's Harrison Ford now. He just, wow, yeah. Uh. yeah. When, he, when he falls and gets hurt. Do uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea how old that was? <laughs> I love Harrison Ford right now, by the way. I love his voice. But yeah. yeah. I, I love uh, when Mark Hamill does it. Oh, uh, yeah. This ain't that kind of movie. <laughs>
Holy shit, you didn't tell me that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, most of everything I feel like gameplay looking wise yep. is in the first person aspect, but there was a time over here where it switched from first to third. Oh, that's really cool. I love the spider coming yeah. out of the arm. I, I'm trying to see if I can place who that girl is, too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, she looks like an original character. She might be. Real big circle. Like, see, like that swing there looked like it was in. Yeah. Like, it looked like gameplay. Yeah. But then it switches Maybe into a when first you person swing, it switches? mode. That's what know. I'm thinking. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I agree with you. If you're going to really, you know, like, make ah, your game feel different, that's cool. The whip is the way to go. But we'll see. And look, look, I like punching. Whip. I mean, he pretty much <laughs> he pretty much scorpion. <laughs> Get over here! Yeah, you know, with the whip. Classic. Just you know, I, <laughs> anytime you have uh, Indiana Jones punch, as long as he crosses the camera on the line of the face, it's gonna sell like a Harrison Ford punch. Yeah. <laughs> no. So yeah, I like I like that. I think it's just a little different than what like. Uh, I think the first person might set it apart more too. Yeah. Of the, sure. the Nathan Drake Uncharted kind that of makes stuff sense. too. So yeah, that's why they went that route. Because that was Maybe. one of the things too. Uncharted always did feel like it's like a video game version of Indiana Jones. Yeah. Because most of the Indiana Jones before that, if they did a video game, it was more of the uh, point and click adventure games and stuff mm -hmm. and exploring. Mm -hmm. But with the first person aspect, like you may still kind of get that with like the puzzle solving and like looking around for things. So. Yeah. Speaking of video games, welcome to Blind Wave Gaming. If you've never been here before. We might check out this game as it comes out later this year, but we're definitely going to be checking out other games, including uh, playing some more Lethal Company this Friday, right here at Blind Wave Gaming. So make sure you guys check that out. See what treasures we can find on other planets. Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the reaction discussion about Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Um, if you want to see us play that in the future here on Blind Wave Gaming, make sure you subscribe and let us know down in the comments below. Uh, it looks a lot of, like a lot of fun. So I'd love to play sometime.